Welcome everybody to our Monday night empowerment session. Tonight we'll be learning about how we can support a compromised gallbladder or if a gallbladder has been removed through surgery with our adaptogenic formulas from Soul Naturals. This is actually an issue that I have seen a lot over all my years in the, as a practitioner. And so much so that obviously I felt it was important to talk about it. So tonight I want you to listen because you may not know that this is tied to some of the issues that you've been dealing with. And so let's see what we can learn and see how we can help. First of all, we're gonna hear from Miss Allie. Hi, this is Allie Begno, and I'm here to share with you um, a little snippet of my health journey of getting my gallbladder taken out at 21 years old. Unfortunately, Soul did not come around for about another year after that. So whenever I was introduced to Soul products, I was immediately uh, drawn to the Vertizons whenever they first came out because I was super excited that I was able to finally find a plant-based enzyme that actually soothes my stomach as well as helping my body break down certain fats that I'm not able to because I don't have a gallbladder. Um, and a couple of years later, Soul also came out with Infatuate, which I was a little leery about as, at first because my body wasn't able to um, digest fats as well. But I was very surprised whenever I was able to drink the Infatuate and there was no issues whatsoever. I even um, drink it with the Cinemate because I find that it helps soothe my stomach and it's able to um, just really vamp up my digestive system, able to breaking things down. Um, and then of course, I'm able to finally get the benefits of the good fats going into my body, um, being able to think clearly. Unfortunately, that last little bit got caught off, but this is something that I hear from so many people that they don't realize is uh, an, a difference is going to make once they start getting fats into their system, not only because they're using a formula which they can assimilate, but also because their gallbladder had been compromised for so long before it was removed that they didn't realize they were uh, missing out on these benefits. So let's look at the gallbladder. We notice and we see right here, it's this little green area, it sits right below the liver. So over on the right side of the uh, body there. And what are its functions? It is actually a temporary storehouse for bile, which comes from the liver. And it is tied to our fat emulsification, meaning um, kind of think about it like when you put soap onto oil and it breaks it down so it can um, be removed from something. Gallbladder does that. It helps make the fat usable. But it also, uh, through these same type of processes, and I've really simplified this here, is it's going to help in getting rid of some of our toxins. And if some of you may remember that I talk about how our body uses fat within the body to um, sequester toxins and protect us from them. Well, when we start breaking it down, whether it's from weight loss or it is a, maybe we're using a product that's helping us get those ish, uh, things out of the body. Well, then we also need help in moving it out and the gallbladder, it gets involved in that. Gallbladder is also used in helping to kill off bad microbes. And it's very tied to blood sugar metabolism, which I think surprises a lot of people. But if you think about how fats help to um, keep that uh, blood sugar more balanced, if we're having challenges with getting that fat used and utilized in the body, then it's going to impact our blood sugar. So if the gallbladder isn't functioning properly, also not only do our fats, we can't properly digest them, but also it's gonna have an impact on our fat soluble vitamins. So A, D, E, and K are great examples. You can't effectively absorb them, which means you can end up with micronutrient deficiencies. And yes, micronutrient meaning some things we need in smaller amounts. However, we still need them and having them um, missing out of our diet, as you're gonna see, can impact us in ways that you may not be aware of. So what are some of the common causes of gallbladder issues? Well, actually it's kind of like which came first, the chicken or the egg in some of these. And so think about it that way. Like we talked about, or I referenced that not being able to assimilate your fat can cause blood sugar 
uh, issues, actually blood sugar imbalances can also go the opposite direction and cause some of the gallbladder issues. We also have issues when we have estrogen dominance, that being because of how it impacts the liver, which means it's not being able to get that bile in like it needs to. And you're going to see stress underlying in several things too. And if you think back to how we've talked about how the, the liver gets uh, impacted by stress, digestion gets impacted by stress. So if we have chronic stress, then it's it's upsetting the apple cart, so to speak, or that, that uh, delicate balance that just goes on in the gallbladder. When we have a low fiber diet, then we're not actually doing a very good job at helping the body in the process of taking the toxins out once the gallbladders um, remove some of those or carrying out some of those trans fats or quote unquote bad fats that we don't need. Low stomach acid production. If the stomach's not being able to do its um, requirements, fulfill its job requirements in the digestion process, then that gallbladder can start to get backed up a little bit. Obesity. And obesity can happen for lots of different reasons, but it's, again, they kind of go hand in hand. Rapid weight loss can cause gallbladder issues because the gallbladder and the liver are involved with getting that fat broken down as it leaves the body. And if it is um, has a traffic jam going on, then it can't keep up with it, then that's going to impact it as well low fat diets, often because people are not giving the right type of fat or they're using really junk fats, then that causes issues as well. Medications that lower cholesterol. Cholesterol is actually kind of think of it like a, oh, a road crew. Like in the summers, we have the road crew out there and they're patching all the holes in the asphalt. Well, that's kind of what cholesterol. Cholesterol is an indicator that something else is going on in the body. And cholesterol, we need to not look at it as just shoving it down. We need to look at, oh, there's another issue here. What's going on? Well, often if we add a good fat, we can help to correct that. But if the gallbladder can't break it down and we have already have the cholesterol medication shoving it down, then hence we have an issue. Leaky gut syndrome can tie with this. And this is one I've seen a lot of as well, uh, food allergies and sensitivity, sensitivities, gluten in particular, which is why I have the pictures of the grains here. In fact, almost 60% of celiac disease sufferers are known to have liver, gallbladder, and or pancreatic conditions. It's very common. And when you get in deep in this and you start understanding the autoimmune issues tied with this, um, Again, so much of this is which came first, the chicken or the egg. And sometimes it doesn't matter. It's about stopping the process so that we can get a handle on it and just break that cycle that's going on. So whenever I have people um, that have had issues with uh, their gallbladder, we will often look at talking them at least 30 days, if not 45 days of pulling all grains out of their diet because of we can find out other underlying issues that may be there, but nothing else is giving a break to that gallbladder. And I found this interesting too, that the uh, British, British Medical Journal reported that 50% of their patients who had had gallbladder surgery did not see improvement in their digestive complaints. And so often when I had the shop, people would be coming in looking for help to break down fat because they're, they were under the impression uh, they were told that if that gallbladder was removed, that those, you know, having to run to the bathroom um, before the meal was over because they couldn't break down the food, typically spicy or um, fatty foods, those issues didn't disappear. In fact, often they would get worse. So what are some of the possible gallbladder symptoms or what might let you know that you need to support this area in additional ways? Well, the common things that people are familiar with have to do with some of the dull or sharp uh, pains on the right side of the, the upper middle abdomen, kind of to the right of the sternum there, but down uh, below that rib cage. What we call is a referred pain at the top of the right shoulder blade or between both shoulder blades. I see that a lot. Um, indigestion and gas in a particular, and remember that's being caused because we can't break down the food. The stools, when the bowels are emptying, we're seeing fatty or greasy stools. They will often see like uh, an oil slick that's on the surface of the water, or the stools are kind of clay colored. There's pain and vomiting, pain with a breath. Sometimes people walk in, would walk in and all they would be talking about was the pain um, or tenderness between those shoulder blades. And through talking, I was able to help them uh, connect some of the dots. Sometimes that other symptom was the only thing they had. Itchy skin is one that often surprises people. 
Well, remember I told you that the gallbladders involved with helping to get out waste products. If we can't get them out, then it can cause some of those toxins. Uh, be, uh, there's actually some terms for it, but it creates an irritation and it not only can dry out the skin, creating an itchy, but it also has a toxin the body's trying to get out. Headaches and migraines all the time. And often gallbladder and liver stuff are, I mean, they're neighbors, they're tied to each other. They work well together, hand in hand. So when one's off, the other one's off. Headaches or migraines are often tied with this. Constipation and diarrhea going back and forth. Loss of libido. If you're not getting your fat in your diet and being able to break it down, you don't have the fat to make the hormones out of. So of course, libido is going to be something that we see disappear. A better taste in the mouth that can be tied to bile. Stiffness of the joints and muscles. Again, not getting that good fat in there to lubricate everything and breaking down and, and think of as oily it. Now, frozen shoulder, I think, surprises a lot of people, but I have found a connection over the years between sh uh, frozen shoulder and then thyroid issues and hypothyroidism, cold extremities, all three of these are often tied in with thyroid stuff. And there seems to be a um, direct correlation um, and they haven't really figured out why between thyroid issues and gallbladder issues. If one is there, often the other is there. Not always in, you know, as big and, and glaring as, as, you know, like the thyroid might be more of an issue or their awareness than some of the gallbladder, but often they're, to, they're together. We can have loss of hunger, chemical sensitivities. And if you think about how that they can't get the toxins out, because that bile, they don't have that ability to hold that bile there with that storehouse, that can cause issues. Weight loss resistance. Again, because we're not being able to break that fat down. A constant runny nose is an interesting one. And believe it or not, that can be tied back to bile salts. IT band pain, which has to do with coming out from the, the part of the hip and going down by the knee. And then of course, some of the emotions that can go with this. Bitterness, being unyielding, refusing to forgive. Think about the term if someone is being galled about something. That comes with uh, tied back to that actual organ. And then I find it important for people to pay attention to where their face might be breaking out. And you can see right here, we have the lighter green right here for the gallbladder area. And because it and the liver go hand in hand, kind of think of both those areas. If we have regular breakouts or unusual breakouts in those areas that or a history of it, then we may want to pay attention and come in and do something to support that gallbladder. So this is actually our oldest daughter and it is not uncommon, and I did not know this until our first grandson was born, that it was common for um, women after that pregnancy to end up having their gallbladder removed. And it had to do with having to break down um, the, the additional fats, the cholesterol issues, and of course the bowel can get slowed down. So this was actually a testimony that she had done and she uses the Vera Designs because it really does help her now since that gallbladder is gone. And it just helps her immensely. She is very good about using this. And just like um, Ali said in the beginning, it's very calming and soothing to her system, which is different than just putting an enzyme formula in that breaks things down. Vera Designs is unique with that. And another thing, because I like to look at the whole picture, where could things be connected? This is actually tied to some, uh, a scanning system that I know how to read, and it shows the interconnectivity of the body. So when we look at meridians, this yellow here is all points tied back to the gallbladder. So these are areas where you might use your AC cream. You might use one of your compass oil blends along that. And be, there's always a Oh, a buddy meridian, we'll call it. Um, in this case, it's going to be the liver. These are other areas that may be tender. We have certain teeth, like if people have had the, um, maybe these teeth pulled or injuries to them or heavy duty metal uh, fillings, silver fillings in them, then they may end up with having some gallbladder issues as a result and or these areas. And if you think about this right here, this area kind of reflects back to that area on the scapula where people can have the issues. So I always find this interesting to understand again, that interconnectivity, the body is always giving us information and one area can get impaired and directly impact the other areas. 
So what products are we talking about here? They're going to benefit someone with either that compromised gallbladder or one that's been removed. The infatuate because it's plant sourced is just a game changer for these people. And it is so easy to break down. And um, I love to have it every morning with my Cinemate. Cinemate, um, we're gonna see here in a minute, also aids in digestion. So putting the two together, it just, it, it really makes the body happy because it's all of a sudden getting this boost in an area that it had been missing out on. Your Veridesimes, we've been talking about that. And remember, we have some plants in here. They're just calming and soothing to the system with the, the wood betony, um, the marshmallow. It's just really gentle on the system. Solmega is another plant-based. And the reason I'm focusing on plant-based is there is a difference in the body's ability to break down a plant-based versus an animal product type fat. And when you already are missing part of the body, for instance, the gallbladder in this case, and or it's compromised, you need all the um, lessening and uh, making it easier to do the work as much as possible. Vital is another big one because of how it comes in and works with that liver. Now, a lot of people find, and the, the, the liver's amazing. It will step up and start to do as much of the work of, that the gallbladder used to do as is possible if it can. Um, it can't always do that, but if it can, it will. And so that vital, because it has such an affinity to helping out that liver, again, any way we can help, you know, send someone down there to help, you know, give, give it a helping hand. And you guys have learned over the different teachings, just the power of the vital and what it does for the liver. And then again, that cinemate. Now, not only is it helping with digestive, but remember it's also helping with blood sugar. And we just learned that tie in with the gallbladder when it comes to blood sugar. So let's listen um, to Micah here and a little backstory. Um, when she was younger, we, she was having issues with her hands would turn bright red and she could not figure out why. And this was years ago. So I finally had her keep a food diary and it wasn't even a week into it that she called me up so ecstatic because she figured out what the correlation was. It was ice cream. Anytime she would eat ice cream in under an hour, her hands would turn bright red. And so we were able to determine at that point and it lined up with other things, um, symptoms that she had not put together that she had challenges with breaking down fat. And once we addressed that and she watched it in her diet, it helped immensely. Good evening, soul friends. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Infatuate. Uh, so I have been taking Infatuate for a couple months now. Um, I have noticed a lot of benefits when it came to my hair, my skin. Um, I do really like how it uh, just adds a little bit extra to my soul complete in the morning. Um, I tend to do it in the morning because I get that good boost of good fats and um, it helps me really be able to function in the morning um, at work, uh, stay focused on the computer and um, and assist customers. That's what I do for a living. So um, it's just one of those things that I can't live without now. I'm so glad that I added it into my soul regimen and I hope that you will too. I think that you'll see the benefits as well. So this was really big for her. Like I said, she was kind of, you know, a little reserved at first because she wasn't certain how she would do with it. She raves about it. It was such a big boost to her system once she drank it for the first time because her body was so excited to finally be able to get those fats again. And it helped, helped her so quickly. So now I've asked Greg if he would share uh, some information as to the importance of this book and why Soul has that available. Uh, Greg, do you need me to share the screen or are you good? I'm good, Valerie. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Good to see you and be here with you for a few minutes. Um, I, I appreciated this request because it, it got me kind of thumbing back through the book earlier today. I don't know if any of you knew this, but I think probably everyone listening tonight knows that not only can you buy that and it's available in English or Spanish, but it's also part of the specialist success kit. Every single specialist at Seoul receives a copy, which is a pretty big deal. It's not a small book, um, but if you know Dr. Allison who wrote it, 
she is easy to read. She's very interesting and entertaining and not heavy to me. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't ever bog you down. So it is not to me an intimidating book, but it is really so useful. I kind of look at it as a resource book. I mean, I know you can sit down and read it. And I, I'm not, I'm curious how many that are listening live tonight have already read the fix. My guess is a pretty high percentage. Maybe chat me if you, if you, uh, if you have, or if you haven't either way, it's okay. We're all friends here. <laughs> not everyone loves to read, but um, I, I, I don't know if you know kind of how it came about. I thought I'd maybe share it. So as soul was being um, formed, still in its stage before the company was officially operating, because of my brother-in-law, who is a clinical psychologist himself, and his name is Mac Stevenson. Mac has a, a fairly advanced um, situation with MS and is pretty limited in what he can do. But over the years, he had become very good friends with Dr. Allison. I think it started when they were finishing a PhD together and then Mac went on to Harvard to get his postdoctorate at Harvard and Allison went on to Yale. They're, they're, they're very highfalutin, aren't they? And, and then Allison went on to become faculty at the Yale Medical Center, a Yale School. I think it's called the Yale School Medical Center, something similar to that and became involved in research and also herbs. And in, in getting to meet her as we were forming the company, hearing her philosophy and her hearing souls, it just became a perfect match. We could see that from the first conversation really. And so once we got to learn more about Allison's philosophy and her willingness, in fact, she had had some plans to write a book so we talked a little bit about our philosophy and I, I asked her if she wouldn't mind maybe accelerating her plans. <laughs> to be honest, it's now been 10 years. So I can't remember exactly how it all unfolded, but I do remember that it became a, a, a front burner project. And it's something that she did. And I, as I read, she would send me chapters and just to see, just to get an idea because we were considering like I say, from the first meeting, sharing her, her philosophy, because it's so holistic, not just nutritional, but habits, lifestyle, how we, how we handle stress in our life, or just life, and, and principles to put ourselves on a, on a better path. We thought it might be a good match. Once we saw a few chapters, we said, yes, we, we love this, please, <laughs> can we, can we do this? And so she, yes, she did. She finished the book, and kind of refined it a little bit. We were, we loved it. And we feel so, so strongly even today. So here we are, what, 10 years later, really from the writing of the book probably, but the company coming up on nine. And I, I love it just as much today. One of the things I love, I'll just share one little snippet. Um, I, I think it's a resource book and it's, it's really useful to go back in. You know how she scatters throughout her book, what she calls big ideas. So I'm gonna share with you big idea number five. I think there are six or seven in the book. And you know, she's got all sorts of interesting chapters here, but big idea number five. Why was I looking at this? Because this became, this became a topic here recently with some experiences that, that some of our soul specialists were having. And it's a principle that they were seeing. And I, I don't wanna say discovering, but maybe it was, it was driving home to them how big this principle is. And here it is. Here it is in Allison's book. It's big idea number five in her book. She says, only when you do, excuse me, one more time, only when what you do is therapeutically enough can you have a chance at realizing your desired outcomes. So I'll say one more time, only when what you do is therapeutically enough can you have a chance at realizing your desired outcomes. And I know that she's talking about this in all parts of life. Remember the three-legged stool she talks about in the book, sleep, diet, and exercise, right? So think about that statement, big idea number five, with respect to all three of those things. And I'm thinking about it in, in, with respect to what Valerie's teaching us tonight. 
um, sometimes we dabble a little. We, we know it kind of has a link and we might bring a little in. Now, I'm not saying all of a sudden we go to a lot without building up. But what I am saying is the building up and finding that point is really a big idea. <laughs> Always has been for me. It's what changed my own life when I realized I needed to listen to my body. And whatever I'm doing, whether it's my nutrition or you know how I'm planning my schedule for sleep or exercise, whatever the, those big things you know that affect our health, is what I'm doing therapeutically enough to address my outcome that I'm looking to change. If it's not, then I got to keep going at it and find that level. So, I, I mean, I love the book. It's got lots of principles. That one is a life changer with, with respect to every aspect of health. And so, um, yeah, we believe the book is so important. Um, it's in every kit for every specialist. And I think it can help people in life. I think she asked me to write a little forward, which, oh, I hate reading stuff I wrote. But my thoughts are the same. I, my thoughts that I expressed in her book at the start um, are, are the same. I think this is a book that's a life changer. It's not just an interesting read. It's a life changer book. It's in that category. If you look at it that way and read it that way, you get 10 times out of it versus, oh, I'm, just, I'm curious her point, you know, some of the points. So I do love the fix. I know she's, I hope I'm not saying anything I shouldn't, but she's mentioned a time or two doing a second edition because, you know, another decade's passed and there are a couple of things that, that, you know, could be in there. We'll see, you know, we'll see when that happens, but um, love, I love the fix, Valerie. Thanks for letting me share a little bit. I hope, hope it's, it's a useful tool for people. Yes. Thank you, Greg. Yes, I do think it's so useful. And just like Greg said, you don't have, it, it's not like getting in some of my books that like I get to that are super deep and, and, and with all that information and people are afraid to get in and read those. This is an easy read. Anyone can do it. And I have yet to find anyone that doesn't feel like they benefited and learned something from it that in, didn't improve their health. So that being said, there's two important things happening on this screen. One is dominoes falling. So, and the other is our tree and our roots and how I teach you guys that everything is connected. So just like we talked about all of these different quote unquote symptoms that could be tied into uh, gallbladder stuff, I wanna share with you some of what I've seen. When someone has a uh, compromised gallbladder and then often would come to see me after it'd been surgically removed. And I'm seeing this happen younger and younger. I'm seeing kids in fifth grade have their gallbladder removed now. It's not long before I see issues with memory with these people. Um, not long before I see issues with blood sugar, cholesterol, uh, skin issues, libido issues. I've even seen cancer issues. And if you think about all these different things that you've learned about how the gallbladder is so involved and how it impacts the body, you can understand how it just is like the dominoes falling. You work with one, you remove a body part and it's not inconsequential when we do it. It has an impact, just like in the tree up here. If we go in and we dig and we cut out, you know, maybe someone wants to run a pipe through line through this area and they cut off this section of the roots over here and dig it out, guess what? That will have an impact on part of the tree. It can't, you know, it always is gonna impact something else in the body. So paying attention, listening, um, it's just, it to me, it's crucial to always aware, be aware that each body part is connected to something else and it has an impact. And I hope that's something that you've got from how in depth I've gotten on this. So one other uh, testimony here uh, from a, a gal that I've known for quite a while. So she takes enzymes to um, help with digestion and probiotics. And she's using the, uh, the Verdezymes and it helps with that digestion. And she uses a probiotic Q. Her liver absolutely loves a vital. It did make a world of difference for her. She unfortunately was like Allie, had literally had the gallbladder removed the year before so it became available. Now, I, we don't know. It's pure conjecture to say that that would have changed everything. But you know what? I've seen it change a lot of things for a lot of people. Regardless, this is one of her things that she relies on on a daily basis, and it helps her move forward. And she has used it continually um, 
or nine years. So as you see, uh, when we look in here at the, um, the products that are in that Bella Health program, right there, we've got the Verita designs. We've been talking about that. We've talked about the Vital and its support for the gallbladder and liver, the Cinemate probiotics are gonna come in because of how it helps with gut motility and peristaltic motion, moving the toxins out, helping to keep on top of the toxins because you know good bacteria versus the quote unquote bad bacteria. And now you also understand that longevity and why this is even more powerful for people that are having gallbladder concerns. Because we have a plant source here for that D3, we are now helping these people who may have been dealing with a micronutrient deficiency. Longevity becomes very powerful. So it is a very simple thing to add in either Infatuate or the Solmegas to complete out um, their system with making sure they're getting enough good fats. I hope you can see the power and need for the body to have the good fats and even more so um, the ease of which the body can utilize them when we use them in this form. Now keep in mind, you do not have to have gallbladder concerns to be able to be a candidate for using these products. No, in fact, what you're gonna find is you get even more benefit because you're not having to uh, jump that milestone with having the gallbladder challenges. I absolutely love this picture here. I thought this was fun and this is this quote here. I believe the greatest gift you can give your family and the world is a healthy you. And that's from Joyce Myers. And think about that. We invest in ourselves. We invest in our health. It helps, especially the way that soul um, is addressing everything. We're working with that mind, body, health, and connection so that we're, our body's feeling better. The adaptogens are helping to keep everyday stress in life from hitting us so hard, we're being able to be more present and happier and better to able to interact with our family and support and be a good uh, partner, parent, business owner, practitioner, whatever it is and how we show up in life. This is a huge gift. When we take the time to invest in ourselves, again, giving our, a healthy us to the world is a big thing. Now, next week's topic, um, I will be looking at, and I have worked with this a lot over the years, and the benefits of adaptogens when we're talking about uh, integrative oncology. Otherwise, when I've got people coming to me um, who have received cancer diagnosis, and then they're being able to use the adaptogenic formulas with soul to support that process and the amazing um, results when you have something that deals with stress in a very stressful situation. So I hope that you will join us next week for that.